Su Ming has traveled through time, but it's just a double wear. Steadily slaying demons and eliminating them in the demon world, while being revered as a saint, I also practiced evil laws, accumulated merits, and eliminated negative effects. After returning to the world under one person, while waving his hand to descend into hell, his whole body is covered in golden light and inviolable. Zhao Guizhen said, Li Qi, what Li Qi do you want me to take? You're all haunted by ghosts, why don't you turn back? Zhao Dong. Cha. Are you all blind? Those five ghosts have already become so strong. Tell me he's a good citizen. Gong Qing. All beings are beings without a path. I hope you can guide me. Old Master. Why does this thousand soul banner, which is incompatible with heaven and earth, still emit holy light? Is it difficult to refine such a despicable tool or to benefit the world? After conducting a thorough investigation for thirty years, it was found that the only stain on this evil cultivator was actually trampling on the lawn. Su Ming also said helplessly, I've said I'm not a cultivator. Don't you think this is all about merit? Novel keywords. Under one person. Saying you're not a evil cultivator. No pop-ups, under one person. You're not an evil cultivator. Download the complete TXT collection, under one person's command. You're not a cultivator. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Five Ghosts Feed the Body. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Five Ghosts Feed the Body The sun has been setting for some time now, and a few crows pass by in the already dark sky. Their piercing cries make the wilderness even more eerie. The only modern trace is the dark abandoned warehouse. The warehouse is empty, and no one knows what is loaded in several large containers. After being soaked in rainwater, the constantly emitted musty smell fills every corner. Duh, duh, duh the sudden sound of footsteps sounded like a probe, as if ready to turn around and leave at any moment. However, the sound of these footsteps was as pleasant as a fairy sound in Su Ming's ears. After getting closer and seeing the incoming person clearly, Su Ming hardly hesitated at all. He immediately stood up from the corner where he had been hiding, vigorously waving his arms and saying, Hi, here. The person's obese face was adorned with a ferocious scar that spread from the forehead to the small beard on the chin, but from beginning to end, their eyes narrowed into a line, and the smile at the corner of their mouth was not concealed. Don't be fooled by that harmless smile on your face, it's not a good thing. One of the six thieves of all nature. Seeing joy, not knowing your true name. Chuanxing, in a world under one person, is almost a sect that everyone shouts for. If its disciples are caught by other forces, no matter how they are dealt with, there will be no criticism. Although they claim to follow Yang Zhu as their ancestor and adhere to the creed of preserving one's integrity and not accumulating things, in reality, they only remember not to pluck a hair, but they have lost nothing, using the guise of facing their true nature to rationalize their behavior of committing evil, venting, and indulging in pleasure. But it has to be said that although the disciples are mixed and the strength is uneven, their own strength is extremely strong, including countless old villains who have killed countless enemies. The reputation of the young generation as the Three Corps, Six Thieves, and Four Zhang Kuang is also widely discussed in the martial arts world. Today, Su Ming invited one of the Six Thieves, who is also the only one Su Ming dared to meet. Ha ha ha. The person's smile widened as they heard Su Ming's greeting. You guys have a lot of courage. You joined Xu Anqing on the first day, and you dare to meet me the next day. Hee <laughs> hee, there's nothing I can do about it. I can still trust brother Xi's character. A small soldier like me doesn't even have the need to kill him. Su Ming bent over and smiled, reaching out his sleeve to wipe away the rain from Xi's body, but he was directly grabbed by his hands and arms. His gaze was still full of laughter, but his tone was very cold. It's no use doing this, did you get something? Su Ming smiled and spread out his other hand, which contained a bloody eyeball. No, I didn't even dare to wash it, 
he said when she saw the eyeballs, a hint of surprise flashed in his eyes. He then let go of Su Ming's hand and twisted his fingers to take a look through his phone light. His joy grew even stronger, and he said, Oh, are you killing a national athlete? He couldn't help but take a few more glances, and the more he looked, the more he liked it. He couldn't help but exclaim, Superior. And it's all so fresh. Su Ming chuckled and casually took off his coat, throwing it aside. That's it. How dare I be a little careless about what I gave to Brother Xi. I just picked it before going out. Everyone has a desire to possess property, and once it is strong, it can become greed. Greed is not related to one's wealth, but only to one's will. It is human nature to take valuable things for oneself. However, if one does not pay attention to methods and methods, it can become evil desire. Seeing joy is the extreme of this evil desire, and it is also the most secure one among Su Ming's previous goals. He is only interested in property. Sure enough, after casually retracting her eyes, she looked up and down at Su Ming carefully, as if she was getting to know this new partner again. She also looked at the light coat thrown out and couldn't help but praise it inwardly, not bad. That's really good. He laughed twice. Recently, the Luo Tian Festival has started planning, and the martial arts world has become lively again. The company's vigilance is also surprisingly strong, and all the disciples are at risk. Just like you, the newborn calf who just joined, is not afraid of tigers. This courage. Bully. He couldn't help but give Su Ming a thumbs up. The company is the abbreviation for Anywhere Pass Company, in the world of outsiders. On the surface, it is a courier company, but in reality, it was a secret organization established after the founding of the People's Republic of China to prevent outsiders from using force to violate prohibitions. Shouldering the heavy responsibility of maintaining the balance between outsiders and normal society, everyone uses express delivery companies as their name to restrain outsiders for the country. They are considered half a state-owned enterprise, and almost all members are outsiders. In other words, the company is the heaven of the alien world, representing absolute justice, and integrity is their biggest target of attack. Looking at the goods traded between the two, some shadows can be seen. Ah! Su Ming just gave a bitter smile, I can't do anything about it. Having obtained what he wanted, Xi's smile became even brighter as he nodded to show understanding. Yes, you're just like this. At this age, you've only awakened your qi machine, but you haven't awakened any special abilities. You can't get into a prestigious and upright sect. To put it bluntly, you're just a laborer with greater strength than ordinary people, moving containers into the company. Okay, you made your choice, he said as he took out a pile of waste paper and placed it in Su Ming's palm. But I still want to say something extra. His chubby hand was placed on Su Ming's shoulder, and his originally chubby hand suddenly sprouted sharp nails. In an instant, it pierced through Su Ming's white shirt and deeply penetrated his shoulder. The dripping blood donation soaked half of his clothes in an instant. Seeing Xi's nails constantly stirring on Su Ming's shoulder, the intense pain made Su Ming's body uncontrollably tremble, but he didn't care at all, as if he was doing something very interesting. It took a while for Su Ming to slowly lift his eyes, still filled with smiles. In Su Ming's eyes, he found the fear he liked, and then he released his hand with satisfaction. He smiled and said, Don't die, do you hear me? The guy who kills without blinking an eye cannot be worried about Su Ming, he's just worried about missing a supply source. Su Ming's forehead was already covered in fine beads of sweat, but his face was trying hard to pile up a flattering smile. Of course, this cooperation is so pleasant. How could I possibly disappoint your cultivation, Brother Xi? After wiping the remaining half of Su Ming's clothes clean with the fingers he pulled out, he laughed twice and left. Su Ming still had a smiling face as he watched him leave, but he had already been sentenced to death in his heart. To put it simply, holistic cultivation means gathering together for warmth, without any organized form or fixed right or wrong. 
Some people are not tolerated by the world for their in and evil cultivation methods, such as the Four Madness and Six Thieves. Some people are the children of famous families who have done wrong things, like L. V. Liang. More people are solitary warriors and born with extraordinary abilities, but the most common one is him, born ordinary but unwilling to be ordinary after killing a fish at R.T. Mark for twenty years in his previous life, his heart finally warmed up again with time travel, and he didn't want to cool down again like this. The pile of waste paper was unfolded by him, clearly stating, five ghosts feed the body. At first glance, it was not a proper cultivation method, and its reputation in the martial arts world was also extremely bad. Not only were righteous people regarded as beasts of great power, but they were even cursed with bloodshed throughout their entire nature. Almost no one would go to practice because practicing alone requires a whole five complete souls, and in the later stage, they still need to be continuously fed to maintain and grow, otherwise the cultivator would become the nourishment of the five ghosts themselves. There are almost no living examples. But it is indeed what Su Ming is most looking forward to. After seeing Shi leave, his originally bowed waist slowly straightened up, and the flattery on his face disappeared without a trace, appearing calm and indifferent. Then he turned around and snapped his fingers. Pop! Opening your eyes again is already another world. What caught the eye was a pink and yellow tent, slightly cooler than the world under one person in the morning. Above the head are a series of tassels, swaying gently in the wind. The complex and magnificent Yunluo silk is laid under the body like ripples of water, occasionally wafting a fragrance of purple sandalwood, refreshing the heart and soul. This kind of enjoyment is simply impossible to experience in modern times. I casually pulled off my blood-soaked clothes and put them on the brocade clothes that had already been prepared by someone. The bedside was the window, with exquisite carving and rare wood. With a gentle push, I could see the beautiful scenery outside the window. Rockeries, small pools, blue lotus roots, pink water lilies, and a cool morning mist. Occasionally, little maids pass by, but the sound of footsteps is very light. The conversation was originally very light, but seeing the window open instantly attracted birds and swallows to come forward. The soft and sticky, young master, calls made Su Ming's legs weak. Wearing both is also reasonable, isn't it? End of this chapter Chapter 2 The Flower World of the Great Swallow You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 The Flower World of the Great Swallow This matter is quite mysterious, and it must start when Su Ming just crossed over a week ago. At that time, he had just arrived at this world under one person, and at the beginning, he was very excited because he truly felt the Qi machine. He had already dominated the world like those strange people in fantasy and anime, and even looked forward to being respected by everyone like the Heavenly Master. But there is no cultivation method, no route for practicing Qi. The so dot called Qi refers to the innate Qi that comes with each person's birth. It gradually decreases and disappears with age, until it eventually dies with your body. Only a small number of people can grasp and control it during this process of disappearance, collectively known as aliens. But in the 40-year national crisis, countless inheritances were destroyed in the smoke of gunpowder, and very few have been passed down. In addition, with the red line of population and the constraints of the company, someone like him who only awakens Chi in his twenties has basically lost his cultivation qualification. As I saw with joy, qi is gradually accumulated and cultivated. The innate qi that only awakened in my twenties is already weak to the extreme. In addition, without special awakening, there is no need to cultivate it. It is not necessary to be a noble and upright person, and when I come to the company, I am just a laborer packing and packing. After three days of non-dot-stop travel and visiting almost all prestigious and righteous sects, Su Ming had already become disheartened. But when he closed his eyes, he went straight to another world, and the previous fatigue had completely disappeared. This is a world called Big Yen. This is a country where half is mortal, and the other half, at most, is the ghost person with strong physical fitness. 
The eye that pleased the eyes came from them, but Su Ming, as a three good young man, did not feel any guilt in killing them, because these ghostly people were measured by human labels, and their actions were synonymous with demons. From the appearance, apart from the long horns on the head, there is almost no difference from humans, but the physical fitness is twice that of ordinary people, making it a natural nemesis for humans. Let's say they have brains, they don't know how to cultivate, they don't know how to develop, their vision is short-sighted, they are free and unrestrained without organization or discipline. They have no brains, they are good at burning, killing, looting, rape, and plundering, and enjoy killing and cannibalism. On the first day of Su Ming's journey, he encountered a group of ghostly people attacking the village. The leader immediately held down a fair-skinned, beautiful, and long-legged sister who wanted to commit misconduct. Su Ming didn't see any difference in these guys at the time, so as a talented young man, he jumped up and killed him. They may seem like ghostly people to the mortals here, but for Su Ming, who is a half-practitioner of qi, Su Ming is more like a ghostly person, and just the use of basic qi can knock him down. As soon as the leader came out, he was taken down by the gang, and the other ghost people were also startled and began to retreat directly. The villagers were also surprised by his divine bravery. After this battle, he was directly revered as a hero by the village and lived in the most luxurious suite, with the best-looking maid. And today is the day when his statue is erected. This statue is not just a simple ritual. According to them, being erected as a statue becomes the guardian deity of a place, carefully focusing on the deity and preventing all kinds of evil from invading. It also enhances the body to a certain extent. This is also the most important reason why Su Ming decided to pursue an evil cultivation. Everyone knows that practicing evil methods has two major drawbacks. The first is that the sin is profound, and there is no need to worry about it. Su Ming's killing of those ghost people is not only a serious sin, but also an immeasurable merit. As for the second issue, it is a mental problem. While gaining strength, this is also the biggest side effect. People who are not abnormal enough often go crazy on their own, or in other words, practicing this method itself is already crazy. However, two issues have been perfectly resolved in this world, and as for the increase, Su Ming does not offer much hope, after all, the level of combat power in this world is there. As soon as he left, he was surrounded by a group of warblers, birds, and swallows. In their eyes, the young master was just sleeping and waking up. Xiao Qing, who was the first girl rescued by Su Ming during his first time crossing over, took the initiative to request to be Su Ming's maid after that day. Su Ming wanted to refuse, but with her be-waist and long legs, she became even bigger today she was wearing a beige silk dress, with a wisp of cloud hanging down her delicate face. Her fair fingers gently wrapped around Su Ming's arm and she was about to walk inside. Why did you come out, young master? Just call out to me and I'll go in. Su Ming's blush. Some people died when he said such words in front of the seven or eight girls, but soon he recovered his calm and gently moved Xiao Qing's hand to open his mouth for the past week, he has come here almost every day to slay demons and eliminate them, and has established his position among all the villagers. Otherwise, the village chief would not have taken the initiative to request a statue for him. As soon as these words were spoken, Xiao Qin was momentarily taken aback. Her originally shy face turned pale in an instant. Young master, did I accidentally bite you yesterday? I went back to practice with a banana. This time, she said, cough, cough, cough. Su Ming interrupted her with a fierce cough, and even the thickest of his cheeks couldn't hold back. Although he did feel a bit moved, he still spoke with a serious tone, I have something important to do, it's related to the peace of the village. It is indeed a big matter, and he doesn't even need to notify. The old village chief has already rushed over with an urgent expression. Heroes and heroes, here they are. Dozens of them have arrived, roaring to let us put their companions back. As I said before, just run away like other villages, we can't catch those monsters. His wrinkled forehead was already dripping with cold sweat, 
and he spoke in a almost pleading tone, just give me the key, I'll put it back, maybe there's still a chance to ease it. The total number of ghost people in the village is only about a hundred, but the number of those ghost people is almost equal to that of the villagers. That is to say, on average, each villager has to support one ghost person, and they cannot resist. After all, the strength gap is too huge, and the ghost people only need to deploy two or three small teams to suppress the entire village. The village has made countless promises to build this courtyard, hoping that heroes can step forward and make their lives slightly better. As for making ghosts dare not come. I dare not even think about it. But Su Ming had already made a choice within a short period of time, throwing the key to the village chief with a smile. Then we'll take them out, and at the entrance of the village, I'll talk to them myself, he said the village chief who heard these words was first taken aback, then ecstatic, by the way, that's right. Hero, how strong you can be alone is also limited. As long as you can beat them a few times to stop them from grabbing people so recklessly, thank goodness. There is still some food left, and we can't starve to death. You can't win against them, they are very united. Fortunately, I tried to persuade you not to kill before, otherwise it would be really never dot ending. After finishing speaking, he happily took the key and left. Su Ming watched as he walked away, but couldn't help but smile and shake his head. I'm not a good person, but when I live in the hero's mansion and eat the village flowers, of course I want to look like a hero. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Black Dragon Also Counts as a Dragon You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Black Dragon Also Counts as a Dragon Roar The strong wind swept the dust all over the sky, flying in the roar of the ghostly people. Every household was still built with thatched thatched adobe houses, and although their legs were trembling, there were still many men who chose to stand up and stand in front of the ghostly army. Until Su Ming's appearance allowed them to completely find their backbone, Su Ming's extraordinary bravery for so many days had exceeded their understanding of heroes. Along with Su Ming were six ghostly people escorted by the village chief, one of whom was the largest and had no eyes. Upon seeing Su Ming finally emerge, the most burly ghost emerged from the army of ghost people. His pitch black skin was covered in fine scales, shining brightly in the sunlight. His horns on his head were almost comparable to those of a water buffalo, but his figure was also extremely burly, suppressing all sounds in just one step. His gaze toward Su Ming was also full of aggression, let go, or die. Tisk. Su Ming couldn't help but smack his lips, and then responded to the black dragon with his movements, directly twisting one of their necks. The five ghosts' feeding body technique quickly began to operate, and the soul was grabbed by Su Ming with one hand as if it had a physical entity. The frightened expression of the corpse, combined with the silent roar of the soul, instantly made everyone dare not make a sound. Su Ming didn't care at all. The soul in his hand slowly melted like snow until it completely disappeared, and the whole process didn't even exceed ten seconds. Then came the second and third together. The fourth and fifth. Each one made Su Ming feel like his body was undergoing an indescribable change, like blood boiling and muscles cheering. Until Su Ming finished all of this, he was slowly reminiscing, I have some understanding of Zhao Guizhen, Taoist priest. Qi transforms into three clear, and physical energy carries the Tao. The so dot called Qi is planting a seed in the body, and practicing Qi is gradually capturing the fine Qi in the body to strengthen this seed. However, this five ghost feeding body method directly skips the tedious process of searching for the Taoist so dot called cultivation of the mind, and directly identifies those factors. Su Ming only needs to do a collection and induction work. After a while, he slowly opened his eyes and looked at the leader over there, all right, let's go. The village chief was so frightened that he collapsed on the ground, tears streaming silently as he saw this scene. My old Hu family has been diligent and dedicated for three generations, putting in countless efforts to protect this village, he said he is desperate. 
The reason why there have been no heroes in this village is because the danger in this village is much higher than in other villages. There is only one black scaled ghost like this in other villages, but there are three ghost residences not far away, which is just what they know. I thought a savior had arrived, but it turned out to be a grim reaper who destroyed the entire village in just a few days. And other villagers were not much better either, with a pale expression on their faces. They didn't know how many precedents they had just heard of being slaughtered for killing a ghost. You have no idea how strong the leader is, you have caused a big trouble. A more sensitive person's cold sweat had already dripped onto the ground. Quick, hurry up and build the statue. It's a little bit higher. You, touched my scales. The leader's gaze was already full of killing intent. They didn't have the same agile brain as humans, but at least they had a sense of ethnicity. The reason why they dragged on for so few days was completely because they were convinced that these insects wouldn't dare to kill their people, but now this human not only killed, but even killed five in front of him. Anti-scale Su Ming didn't pay attention to the villagers who were almost crying and almost all of them were kneeling on the ground. Instead, he looked at the black leader with great interest, is a black dragon also considered a dragon. Without saying any more nonsense, he suddenly exerted force under his feet, and a terrifying ghost shadow enveloped him, causing his already terrifying speed to increase once again. The black energy was like an endless abyss, roaring towards the black dragon. Now he is at least three times stronger than before. Black dragon's pupils suddenly shrank. Heroes were trained in martial arts schools or possessed extraordinary luck, which was indeed stronger than ordinary humans. However, it was also limited. There were more than one hero who died in his hands, but now hurry up. Too fast. The terrifying speed alone only allowed him to see the terrifying ghost phantom constantly magnifying in his eyes, and the sense of oppression grew stronger. However, he didn't even have a chance to react. He could only grit his teeth and try his best to tilt his head slightly, using his hardest corner to resist this punch. But he didn't know that Su Ming's heart was shaking no less than him at this moment. The exhilarating feeling made him seem to be fully immersed in this punch, without any skill. Just this pure power had almost made him addicted, and his eyes had unknowingly turned crimson, like a bloodthirsty beast. Boom! The terrifying roar made everyone's heart skip a beat. It was a hard shock for two people. Even the two boulders, because there was no such terrifying movement, dared not open their eyes even after hearing the loud noise. He spent almost his whole life waiting for the hero, but in just a few days, it turned into meat sauce. He couldn't bear to see it, let alone the whole village burying him, and he didn't dare to see it. He was afraid he couldn't accept the result. Tisk. Su Ming's voice sounded first. At this moment, the black dragon's body was still shaking, and his white eyes rolled over to see that he had lost his combat power. Even those two big horns had already fallen to the ground, and the gushing blood seemed to nourish Su Ming's heart. He didn't even pay attention to the blood on his arm that broke open due to the heavy pressure, but took a deep breath. His crimson eyes were full of greed, as if enjoying the wonderful food of this time. What a wonderful taste! Black Dragon's strength is indeed much stronger than what Su Ming had beaten before, especially its amazing defense. This punch was originally thought to shatter his head, but it only shattered his horn. Puzzy. The next second, Su Ming's arm had already penetrated into the heart of Black Dragon, and his luxurious brocade robe was covered in blood, making him appear like a demon. The spoiled voice rang in Black Dragon's ear, It's not your fault to look ugly but it's your fault to Gagaxiang. The village chief just opened his eyes and saw Su Ming lifting the heart of Black Dragon high, and then pinch it to pieces. Ha ha. Su Ming let out a scream in his throat that was not human-like, and his eyes were already bleeding. At this moment, the originally grey ghost on his body became much more solid, and he grinned as if he felt that his shattered arm was obstructing him just now. He tore off the flesh and blood, but his face still had a ferocious and wild smile. Ghosts can't even distinguish who the devil is. 
The villagers also discovered this mutation, and none of them expected such a result. At this point, the villagers were unable to come out of that shock. When the black mist ghost shadow appeared before, they felt that the hero had become different, but it was still within controllable range, but now he seems to be completely insane. In those bloodshot eyes, there was no trace of human emotions, madness, indifference, and a slow step forward without any other movement. The crazy ghost's head opened its mouth and suddenly attacked the nearest ghost. The ghostly figure was closest, even with the blood that had just burst from the black dragon's heart and spread on his face. Seeing the terrifying ghostly figure, he was instantly frightened and knelt down with a thud, tightly closing his eyes. But it was not until the arrival of death that it took him a long time to muster the courage to open his eyes. However, he saw the ghost on Su Ming's body slowly shining with a layer of pale golden light. Although it was thin and faint, it slowly dispersed the madness in his eyes, and the ghost stopped less than ten centimeters away from him. The statue has been built. With a shout from the villagers, Su Ming's eyes regained their clarity. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 L.V. Liang You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 L.V. Liang Originally, Su Ming also knew that practicing was an evil method, and there was definitely a risk before the statue was erected. That's why he skipped over other ghost people and directly captured the thief and the king. Although the punch he just made didn't have any skills, he had already used almost all of his energy to kill him in one blow and achieve a deterrent effect. He even thought about pretending to be forced after killing the black dragon, but but he never expected the side effects of these five ghosts feeding body method to be so fierce. At first, he didn't even realize his changes and felt that controlling himself was okay. However, from the moment he smelled the soul of the black dragon, he completely sank, still unable to extricate himself. It's like a drunken person constantly struggling in twisted consciousness, but this doesn't affect the terrifying side effects at all. Now, when I open my eyes and look at my heart, which is already covered in blood mist, I feel a pang of nausea, even my head is swollen and painful, it's a piercing pain from the depths of my soul. Looking at the hazy golden light on his body, Su Ming's back was already soaked in sweat. It's easy to say that the previous five souls were the foundation of the martial arts, but he ate the black dragon completely. If it weren't for this statue stopping him in time, he might still be able to eat today. Not too much, just half more, then this golden light wouldn't have saved him either. And the ghost people who saw this scene were completely frightened. Except for the one kneeling on the ground, everyone else was almost about to leave the village. They didn't know that Su Ming was already at the end of the crossbow. If they went up to ten Su Ming together, they would crush them into meat sauce. After all, they had no human brain and lost their leader. Now their only thought is to escape. Su Mingxiang straightened his waist, although he was scared and just pretending to be forced, he couldn't lose his momentum no matter what. His gaze swept over those ghosts who didn't even dare to turn their backs to him and said, Xiaojiang village, I covered it up. The words had just come out, and the shocked villagers behind them finally came to their senses. The cheers directly scattered the already frightened ghost, and only the ghost kneeling on the ground was imprisoned by the villagers. As soon as it was dawn, Su Ming had already stood up and had returned to the world under one person. The golden light slowly began to move, and the flesh and blood on his arm that had been torn off by him was slowly growing. After a night of repair, the originally terrifying wound was now 1.5th healed. According to the village chief, there aren't many people in their village, and when they have the ability, they can cover several villages at the same time. By then, the belief power of hundreds or thousands of people together will be enough to double the effect. The most crucial thing is that this effect can penetrate outside the body, and after testing, it is also useful for corpses. Therefore, the case of Zhang Huai's body, which was not originally qualified to participate in, also qualifies itself to participate. Open a document on his phone, which cost the original owner almost all of his savings to buy from the hidden dragon. It contains a list and secret methods of almost all evil cultivators and wild Mao Shan, 
all of which he urgently needs. It is also recorded that she personally killed the five ghosts feeding body method. Yesterday was the first time he had used Chi to fight since his time traveling. Before practicing the five ghosts feeding body method, his pitiful and weak Chi had almost no chance of defeating the black dragon, let alone the aliens in this world. Not to mention that the small fire god on the Luotian reef hit the air with one move and burned half of the audience, but this terrifying strength was not even top dot notch in the Luotian reef. His current strength now that we have the cultivation method, the most urgent problem of cultivation has been solved. The next thing to consider is the secret method and bizarre techniques. Just like when I was in the world of Yen last night, I relied entirely on Qi to support my body and smash the black dragon. If I could transform Qi into flames and other highly destructive things like the little fire god, the effect would not be doubled. The goal was originally set, but now when I open the document again, I find an update. It's worth buying news for tens of thousands, and it still includes updates. Su Ming glanced at the newly added item and his eyes lit up instantly. I have already screened the target before, but in the whole world, which one is not an extremely vicious guy. His current strength to trade with them is not to mention whether he can bring out things that others are interested in. His life can be taken away from his belt at any time. But there is one exception, college students. After setting the target, Su Ming took a taxi to the conference venue with only a few dozen yuan left. When passing by Nambukai University on the road, I couldn't help but feel envious and said that the protagonist was suffering, and my life was not better than him at all. It has to be said that although Chu Anqing was widely criticized in the alien world, his real life was indeed good. In the end, the car stopped in front of a large CAFA, and although the door was hung with a sign that was not open, it was still open. Su Ming didn't hesitate and gently pushed open the door to enter the CAFA. At this moment, there were already many people sitting in the CAFA, but at a glance, all they could see were famous beings from the alien world. However, no one spoke, as if waiting for something. The arrival of Su Ming brought a slight change to the dull atmosphere, and everyone focused their gaze on him, looking at the newly added War 5 scum. Chu Anqing is like a Chiba existence, with no threshold. As long as you are willing to claim to be Chu Anqing to the outside world, there is no distinction between high and low status. Simply put, with strong strength and great achievements, you can receive the respect you deserve in this bar. If you don't like it, you can do it yourself, and no one will say a word about you. Just like this meeting, theoretically everyone can come, but there are more than just these all dot round disciples. Those who can sit here are all those who have strength and status within the sect. Su Ming, on the other hand, has the lowest strength, the lowest time, and the lowest credit. The most likely thing to happen is to be killed by someone who can't stand it. Oh, you're really brave. Even I underestimate you. The speaker was Su Ming's old acquaintance, Yen Jian Shi. As one of the six thieves, he was qualified to sit here. At this moment, he looked at Su Ming with a smile, listen to me, turn around and leave now, otherwise I won't be able to control him if he dies here later. Others were also slightly surprised. Seeing that she was not a good person, he didn't have many lives in his hands, but there were many extraordinary lives. Cruelting his fellow disciples was his specialty, but now he is helping a young man who has only joined the whole world for a few days speak up, thank you, brother Shi, for your concern. Su Ming nodded lightly, but did not hear him turn around and leave. But I'm here. But before he could finish speaking, he was interrupted by a crisp young boy's voice, that's right, everyone can come. This is not a dragon's den, why can't newcomers come? Brother, sit on my side. Su Ming turned his head and saw a young man with a mushroom head and glasses. The young man's body was not high, and he was at the level of a junior high school student. However, he could freely laugh and talk in this almost silent room, which was enough to prove his identity. L. Yu Liang, at the age of only 15 or 16, had already mastered almost all the means of the prestigious L. Yu family, 
and had practiced the Ming Hun technique to a level that surpassed his predecessors. Originally a young master of the LV family with unlimited prospects, he got involved in a dispute due to his sister's death and escaped from the LV family to join Chuanqing. Compared to the heinous crimes and desperate situations of other whole sex individuals, the reason why LV Liang joined the whole sex community is that he can act recklessly here according to his temperament. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Are you sure this is an evil law? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 Are you sure this is an evil law? And the reason why he dares to stand up and laugh under the gaze of so many villains is not only because of his strong strength and powerful methods, but also because he is one of the main characters today. Without his soul-clearing technique, there would be no such ability. No matter how stubborn he is, no one would say anything. During his contemplation, a hand had already climbed onto Su Ming's shoulder, and LV Liang's smiling voice also entered his ear. Right, who didn't come from the newcomer step by step. Although his mouth was smiling, his hands showed no mercy. In an instant, the wishful force erupted. Rui power, a family tradition of the famous LV family, transforms qi into internal power. Its greatest strength lies in fighting cows across mountains and destroying other people's organs. It can be said that once it is confirmed, it basically declares chronic death. In the previous life, it was as strong as the protagonist Zhang Chulan, who was on the brink of death after being hit twice. That's why Su Ming doesn't want to come here. On the surface, he has a familial bond, but once he starts, he doesn't show any affection. Even though the two of them had not had any conflicts, and it was still their first time meeting, the smile on their faces and the words comforting Su Ming had not yet fallen, they already wanted Su Ming's life. Crazy. There is indeed no normal person who feels comfortable in this kind of atmosphere, either extremely vicious or pure lunatic. Fortunately, Su Ming had already been mentally prepared before coming here, and without any hesitation, he directly used the five ghost feeding technique. But as soon as he turned it around, he realized that he underestimated the Rui energy. Not only could it penetrate through objects to achieve hitting cows across mountains, but even qi could be passed through. The illusory ghost was like air in its eyes. Everyone watched this scene, but no one even tried to stop it verbally. Their smiles were full of playfulness, as if they were playing with prey. Ha ha ha, don't you underestimate the methods of our LV family. If it's just Qi's defense that can resolve it, then how can our LV family inherit for thousands of years? LV Liang felt that the Rui force was still the same as before, without any obstruction, and easily penetrated Su Ming's body, with a proud smile on his face. But the smile didn't last long before he froze. Rui force is the culmination of internal and dark energy, directly penetrating through the skin and muscles to specialize in attacking other people's meridians and internal organs. It can achieve no damage on the surface and no integrity inside. In theory, as long as Rui force penetrates into someone's body, unless it is a peerless and powerful person, it is difficult to save immortals. But now but he felt that Su Ming had already invaded his body, and the Rui force, which was about to be destroyed recklessly, suddenly came to an end in an instant. Then, as if afraid, it was being pushed back by something bit by bit. LV Liang's face looked a bit ugly. The force that had just penetrated Su Ming's body was not only a newcomer who had just practiced qi, but even a disciple of a prestigious and righteous sect had to wait for death. But now if Rui Force is a venomous snake hiding in a dark corner, then the force it encounters is the scorching sunlight. Although weak, it is scorching and sacred, and even Rui Force dare not touch it, but is gradually pushed back by the divine force that slowly emanates. He felt a sense of fear on Rui Jin for the first time. Although weak, no matter how much he controls it, he can't get close to a penny. Isn't the five ghosts feeding body method an evil method? How could you, as an evil cultivator, have such a power that is as strong as Yang? Faced with LV Liang's questioning, Su Ming seemed to have not heard it, but further expanded the scope of the power of faith. After half a minute, 
he finally pushed Rui's strength completely back into LV Liang's body, taking a deep breath and speaking. Just now, my hand Yangming's large intestine meridian was obstructed, but at the moment of contact, half of my body was paralyzed and I couldn't move at all. Feeling the dark power inside my body eroding step by step, I could only try the power provided by the statue with a trial and error mentality, but I didn't expect it to have a miraculous effect. She stretched lazily, but didn't go to see LV Liang. Instead, she turned her head to look at Xi and said, Brother Xi, the five ghosts feeding technique you gave me last night is really useful. Seeing that Xi and everyone were still in shock at the moment, although they didn't know what had happened, everyone could see that Rui Jin had penetrated Su Ming's body. However, now this person not only wasn't paralyzed, but also greeted Xi as if nothing had happened. On the contrary, LV Liang's face was gloomy. You should know that the reason why the LV family is a family that can inherit for thousands of years is because their set of martial arts has almost no natural enemies, and they are more skilled in killing people than the Tang clan. Do you say this is the five ghost body method? I only gave you the five ghost body method last night. Did you kill five people overnight? Seeing Xi's eyes wide open, Su Ming's words were all facts. He gave him the martial arts, and the time was indeed last night, but he killed five people overnight. What kind of madness can do this? The next second, he suddenly thought of something again, and his gaze at Su Ming became increasingly blurred. But that's not right. I'm also practicing the five ghosts feeding body method and I can't stop the Rui energy at all. Perhaps feeling that Su Ming's words were untrustworthy, he turned to look at LV Liang and said, Young Master LV, did you just release water? How much energy can he have as a disabled person who only awakened in his twenties? When I tested yesterday, it was basically zero. Can this night's cultivation block your desire? He quickly stood up and walked to Su Ming before even putting down the coffee in his hand. He carefully examined the ghost on Su Ming's body and even reached out to feel it carefully, but the more he felt the shock on his face, the more intense it became. Lie down. His scar chubby face no longer had the same smile as before, and he looked at Su Ming incredulously. You guy, you killed twelve or three people in one night. You haven't been stretched to death yet. Now he finally believed that there might have been some strange change in Su Ming's cultivation. Otherwise, he only found out Su Ming's situation clearly yesterday. But now, even if he had practiced the five ghosts feeding body method overnight, he had eaten more than ten without being stretched to death. He is also an expert in practicing this, and this kind of thing is as unbelievable as being able to resist the Rui force. But as soon as he spoke, Everyone's gaze also became strange, and a cold feeling struck everyone's hearts. Which one present is not a villain among the villains, especially a few old ghosts in the corner, with hundreds of lives on their bodies. But who dares to say that they killed more than ten people overnight to cultivate a martial art? Not to mention anything else, even a devilish pervert who has done such a thing cannot still stand here and talk about being mentally normal, right? Still during the most critical period of company supervision. And this is still a situation where you have just become an outsider and don't have much strength. Even LV Liang couldn't help but loosen the grip on Su Ming's hand. He loves to play, is bold, and is lawless, but he just likes to act around. He has never killed anyone yet, and even the Rui energy that just hit Su Ming's body was just intended to be taken back. The atmosphere was dull just now and he couldn't provoke anyone else to come and make a joke. But now compared to Su Ming, he feels like a weaned child. In terms of evil, who can compare to someone who kills more than ten people overnight? Mainly because my appetite was not good last night, I could only eat this little bit. Su Ming not only did not refute, but also shrugged and smiled calmly. Brother Shi, the martial arts world says you haven't practiced this method, so it seems you have some experience. I told you I brought you with me last night. Don't, don't, don't. Seeing she smile disappear from her lips upon hearing these words, her face turned extremely pale in an instant. She pulled up Su Ming's other hand, 
which was not paralyzed, and steadily placed the coffee in his hand, repeatedly retreating. I don't know you, and I haven't practiced this method either. In today's rule of law society, as everyone knows a rule, killing someone is far more serious than killing someone else. If you kill an outsider, if you kill all of them, then kill them. It's like this person has never existed in this world before. If you kill a famous family, the consequences will be more serious, and you need to be prepared for retaliation from the famous family. But if you kill an ordinary person, you may face joint pursuit from countless departments of the country, with an endless stream of them. If you don't die, they will never stop. The only way to survive is to not be caught. And Su Ming's claim that he committed the crime against the wind may have been a mockery. He killed so many people in one day. What is the difference between this and suicide? Blow it out. Seeing she react, he spoke straightforwardly. At first, he wanted to protect this kid who could provide him with high quality eyeballs, but now he just wanted to stay away from him, his face full of fear. If he were here, maybe the company's people would kick the door the next second, and no one would be able to leave by then. No need, it's not too late to hear what he's really here for before making plans. A voice, finer and more tender than L.V. Liang, sounded from a corner almost visible. At some point, there was an additional little man with a pitch black body and only one pair of eyes, who was eagerly looking at Su Ming. Gong Qin, the overall representative leader, is also a complete madman who dares to gamble his life with just one conjecture. And this meeting, to put it simply, was also the division of labor meeting he planned, the division of labor meeting that planned to cause a big uproar in Longhu Mountain. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 The Thorough Madman You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 The Thorough Madman, I'm here to help. Regarding your previous plan, I feel that no matter how powerful the clear soul technique is, it's difficult to find much on a corpse that has been dead for ten years. It's not because you suspect the clear soul technique, but mainly because it has been too long. Su Ming let out a faint smile and felt his gradually regained mobility. If given the opportunity to speak, he could present reasons that Gong Qing could not refuse. I can restore the vitality of the corpse, although its effect is limited, it can provide more favorable operating space for the soul-clearing technique. His tone was firm and there was no hint of joking. Oh! Gong Qing couldn't help but be interested when he heard his answer, and those who were not capable became the second best. Do you seem to know what we are going to do next? I bought some intelligence and saw that you have found out that Zhang Xilin is Zhang Huai, while Zhang Chulan has people from the company who have been guarding him. Combined with L. V. Liang's magical methods, I only guessed a little. Su Ming was very honest, these things are all on the surface, and it is not difficult to combine them to fabricate a lie. Zhang Huai, also known as the protagonist's grandfather, killed dozens of martial arts masters who were chasing him with his own strength ten years ago, using one of the eight extraordinary techniques of qi and body source, including the leaders of several major sections. No matter who it is, anyone will be tempted by this power, and Xu Anqing has never given up on pursuing it. Now it has been found on Zhang Chulin's head. That's it, Gong Qin rubbed his chin and thought for a while, then he became more like a child. Interesting. So what do you want? Everyone present has their own needs, he is guessing for his own sake, while others are more focused on the source of qi and body. In the whole world, no one would ask for help without seeking anything in return, and there is no sect favor, which he knows better than anyone else. I naturally cannot have the appetite for the source and flow of qi, but as you have all seen, now have a cultivation method, but what I lack is the means. If I really provide some help then, I just want some non-mainstream self.protection measures. Su Ming took a sip of the coffee that pleased him before slowly continuing to speak. Of course, evil methods are the best, after all, everyone has seen them, they work quickly, and for me, having more lice doesn't make me itch. Gong Qing nodded slightly, as if he could accept the explanation, 
then turned to look at L.V. Liang and said, Is the little girl from the Lu family below reliable? After receiving a positive answer, he spoke to Su Ming and said, All right, you can follow L.V. Liang next. You must unite and be friendly. The underlying meaning is already very clear. Since there is already a contradiction, then life and death are at your own expense. For such a result, Su Ming could also accept it. If it weren't for the two methods he showed just now being too unbelievable, he might not have even had the opportunity to work with L. V. Liang. The later arrangements are more important, not something that he, as a newly added unstable factor, can know. Even L. V. Liang can only know about his own arrangements. Until the two of them left the door, the door slammed shut and no one spoke again. After a while, Gong Qing's voice rang out slowly, one was half deceived, and the other was delivered by himself, both of which are not very reliable. Xia He, please watch carefully. Whether those two guys can remember or not, the body must be obtained. But instead of waiting for Xia He's answer, a refined man sitting next to Gong Qing smiled and said, Let me go. One of the four maniacs of the whole sex, the root of the curse, Chen Chong. As he spoke, he slowly stood up and just as he was about to take a step, he stopped again, as if thinking of something. By the way, is that Su Ming okay? The impact is not significant, even if what he said is true, it can only provide some memory fragments. Just don't die, L. V. Liang. Tell me about the plan. Su Ming rolled down the car window and felt the cool breeze blowing on his face. In fact, he knew a rough idea without asking. On the way, L. V. Liang had been hesitant to speak, but he never spoke up. Now it was finally Su Ming's turn to speak. Plan. He glanced at Su Ming, there's no plan for everything, but it's just for us to figure out a way to get things done. I've been joining for a while, and I reckon someone will be sent to keep an eye on us. Although his tone was still somewhat unfriendly, Su Ming could clearly feel that he had improved significantly after hearing his story of killing more than ten people in one night. That feeling doesn't seem like valuing it, after all, I just took a trick. In fact, if I don't just use Qi to fight with Rui Qi, I still don't have a chance and will be crushed directly. Instead, it feels more like envy. LV Liang is a young master of the LV family, and has been one of the most talented individuals in the LV family since childhood. Of course, he is also the most mischievous and mischievous person. He has done a lot of bad things, but he has been tolerated by the elders of the family. However, after his sister's death, the family's attitude towards him completely changed. Even the most kind person before insisted that he was the one who killed him, and all the evidence is conclusive, not even giving him a chance to argue. Every day is torture and interrogation, and every former family member has left scars on him. For a child who has been pampered and praised since childhood, how can there be no resentment? And his sister wasn't killed by him. So he found an opportunity to escape, and after escaping, he did not seek help from the company, nor did he borrow the identity of the LV family to seek refuge in the prestigious and righteous sections. He joined Xuanqing as soon as possible. His ability is very strong, even surpassing many of his parents. During his escape, he tried countless times to inflict pain on his former relatives, but he did not put in any effort. He just listened to Su Ming's terrifying deeds and knew that the one sitting next to him was a true demon. So how are you going to complete this task? Su Ming didn't think too much about LV Liang's attitude, and being able to use that means to intimidate this guy was already a pleasant surprise. As for the future except for the one who must die to see joy, everything else is within controllable range. I have a little brother who has just been taken in, and I have been holding her to death. She happens to be good at this. Just let her do this kind of body digging work. Let's go to a safer factory now, and when she brings the body over, it will be the time for us to start performing. LV Liang's tone was very calm, as if it should have been like this. But before he could finish speaking, he heard Su Ming's voice, go ahead and get in touch with him. It's not like negotiation, it's more like a command. 
All of this before was just finding a suitable excuse to enter this event, which was the easiest opportunity to approach Lu Yenyan throughout the entire process. The Lu family in Xiangxi is the most famous corpse-driving sect in history, with extremely rich means in the underworld. But because it is not allowed in this society, inheritance is almost cut off, and it was finally a talented Lu Yenyan who mastered all the means of the Lu family. If she doesn't wait for Lu Yenyan to enter the company this time, there will be no chance at all. He is walking on a tightrope, actively involved in this situation, either reaching the peak of evil cultivation or settling down peacefully. But if he doesn't gamble once, his heart won't be at ease. Are you crazy? LV Liang stared at Su Ming beside him with wide eyes. Don't you know what you've done yourself? When he said this plan, he never thought that Su Ming would refuse, after all, he was a killer who killed more than ten people last night. After the killer maniac finished killing, he not only didn't hide, but also swaggered to the coffee shop to meet with the all-sex demon, which was already quite unbelievable. But now such demands are being made again. That Zhang Chulan is just an ordinary person, and he will also go back this time. Now the situation at Luo Tian Reef is fermenting, and I can guarantee that almost 100% of the company's people are guarding him. The police and the company are probably looking for you all over the world now. How dare you take the initiative to post it? He can't figure out what's really going on in this guy's mind. Upon hearing this answer, Su Ming, who had been looking out the car window, couldn't help but chuckle lightly and said, What did you say earlier? LV Liang's expression was a bit confused, not knowing what Su Ming was trying to say. He murmured, I said you fell into the trap. Not this sentence, the previous sentence. Zhang Chulan is an ordinary person, when Su Ming heard this, his smile on his face became even stronger. He took off his coat and wrapped it around his head, keep this speed. Just as LV Liang became increasingly puzzled, he immediately burst into the five ghost feeding technique. In an instant, the dark ghost figure seemed to rise in the storm, shaking and rushing out of the car window towards the nearby bus. Sleeping trough. LV Liang couldn't help but let out a loud curse. Yenzu, are you watching? End of this chapter. Chapter 7. Lu family in Xiangxi, my good friend. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7 Lu Family in Xiangxi, my good friend before, he was still thinking about whether he had joined forces to deceive people, as killing so many people in one night was somewhat unbelievable. However, now he has completely lost this doubt. It's true. This guy is really crazy to the point of killing anyone he sees. If it weren't for my strong abilities, I probably wouldn't be able to talk to him alive now. When you see a bus, just take action. This death is a complete load of people. This is not the thinking that humans should have at all. But he didn't know that Su Ming made such a choice because he saw the face stuck on the car window. Sister, with that cheap face that won't be forgotten as long as you look at it, Su Ming is directly certain that this is Zhang Chulan. So he chose to take action, and in fact, his chi couldn't achieve the level of overthrowing the bus from such a distance, but his martial arts were really frightening. With such a large ghostly figure appearing in front of the driver, coupled with a slap within their capabilities, it is unlikely that many people in this car will remain calm. As long as Su Ming makes any noise about an outsider, whether the car overturns or not is no longer important. Zhang Chulin's identity as an outsider is likely to be directly exposed. Even if you don't have someone from at least one company, it's easy to guess what's going on. There has been such a big incident, so it must be comforting. Then comes the confidentiality and investigation required by the company. It is estimated that Zhang Chulan will not be able to come home for one or two days in this round. To put it simply, he can't kill anyone at all. He's just doing intelligence detective work and causing some trouble to buy some time for Lu Yenyan's work. Also buy some time for myself and LV Liang's task. Sure enough, as soon as the huge phantom of the ghost appeared in front of the driver, the bus immediately lost control. 
The sound of brakes, screams, roars, and curses caused by the driver turning the steering wheel suddenly made the quiet winding mountain road lively. Looking at the swaying bus, Su Ming did not stop there, but instead slapped it to the side with a fierce palm. With this palm strike, the bus completely lost its balance and began to roll over. But Su Ming didn't even take a glance and pulled LV Liang to the front passenger seat, grabbing the steering wheel. Hold on firmly. Then he stepped on the gas pedal and hit the bottom. After all, LV Liang is a young master of a big family. Even if he runs away from home as a means of transportation, he is still a luxury car with superior performance, which cannot be caught up with by that bus. And they didn't have a chance to catch up either, look. Su Ming chuckled lightly. LV Liang finally saw a hint of Su Ming's purpose in the rearview mirror. At the moment of the bus overturning, two dazzling lights burst out simultaneously. One was a golden curse like a sticky water flow, which smashed open the window and jumped out, tightly clamping down on the bus that was about to overturn. And there was a figure wrapped in the golden light, so as a participant in the plan, LV Liang couldn't help but recognize it. Zhang Chulan. He is an outsider. And before he could even be shocked, he was interrupted by a roar. Children of all genders, don't fall into your fourth master's hands. Then there was an almost transparent light cluster, emitting ripples that enveloped the entire bus before it was safely placed back on the road. But this incredible scene made the screams even more intense, but Su Ming had no intention of staying and roared away. On the way, LV Liang's gaze at Su Ming changed. If he had only envied Su Ming's ruthlessness before, it had now turned into fear. He had a premonition that if this person were to enter the whole world, there might never be a peaceful day for the whole world. Su Ming took out a cigarette from his pocket and lit it for himself, then casually threw it to LV Liang. Why, do you think I know the way? Oh, oh. LV Liang shuddered, even his hand tightly gripping the seat belt couldn't help but tremble. Turn left, turn left. After seeing this scene in the video, Shen Chong almost shocked his chin. He had seen something crazy before, but he had never seen anything so crazy before. This guy is simply lawless, even crazier than those guys he borrowed from. And indeed, it also had an effect. Zhang Chulan and Su Si were both bombed out, more effective than all the previous probing methods, and it was certain that Su Si would definitely save people first, so he couldn't chase after them, almost avoiding all the dangers. Crazy, crazy. The more he did this, the more it proved that his choice this time was extremely correct. The excited gaze under his black framed glasses was completely impossible to conceal. This kind of person is so interesting. Perhaps I have really found someone who can invest with me for a long time. It took a long time to reach the destination, and Su Ming didn't even hide it. He drove straight into the cemetery where Zhang Xilin was buried. But due to the speed of the wind all the way, the sun has not even set yet. The original plan was for Lu Yenyan to take action after dark. I can't even see anyone now. Su Ming was too lazy to search and directly dug out Zhang Xilin himself. From beginning to end, LV Liang didn't dare to say a word and tried to get off the car to help, but his legs kept getting weak and he had to give up after trying several times. Now it seems that his mind has forgotten the fact that he is stronger, and his mind is completely filled with the crazy look of Su Ming when he just started. Now he doesn't have the courage to stop Su Ming at all. When a murderous demon stands in front of a middle school student who claims to be a villain and even performs a live dissection, it should be this scene. But just as Su Ming picked up Zhang Xilin's body and was about to throw it onto the car, countless mounds of soil began to riot, and the body only completed breaking through and roaring in an instant. Those corpses seemed to have a target, all rushing toward Su Ming in unison. Just as soon as Su Ming saw this picture, he knew that the main leader was coming. It took five minutes to resolve this small misunderstanding, and the three of them chose to abandon the car. In order to ensure stability, even Lu Yenyan took the entire cemetery with her and ran away, 
but most of them were sent to other directions on the way under Su Ming's arrangement, to confuse the audience. Didn't you say I was supposed to handle it myself as a task to join you? Why did you do it yourself? Lu Yen Yen bulged her cheeks and squinted at LV Liang, indicating that she was very unfriendly to this kid who had already deceived him once. Before this, Su Ming thought that people who deal with corpses all day would inevitably feel disheartened, but the fact is not so. Her wheat-colored skin was not particularly dazzling, but her agile aura was very strong, and she even looked at Su Ming from time to time. Just now, Su Ming used his energy while digging up the body, revealing his weak strength without a doubt. Is such strength also a member of the whole character? Her tone had a hint of doubt, as if it was hard to believe. Soft and sticky, I feel that the image of wholeness has been completely destroyed in my heart. The biggest reason why I was willing to come here after being deceived by LV Liang once before was because I saw LV Liang's extraordinary qualities and didn't have the confidence to win against him. But now and the most unbelievable thing is that it seems that LV Liang is still very afraid of Su Ming, from beginning to end, that feeling doesn't seem to be a pretense. But before she could finish speaking, LV Liang's face changed wildly. Does this little sister dot in dot law really know what she's talking about? I was about to say something, but I was stopped by Su Ming with no intention of defending myself. On the contrary, he reached out and pulled out an eyeball. The dripping blood had dried up, but the shimmering luster on it could not be concealed. With a smile, he handed it to Lu Yen Yen and said, I've heard so much about the famous Lu family in Xiangxi. There weren't many good gifts for the first time we met. You might like the small parts you got last night. The young author said he wants a review, end of this chapter. Chapter 8 Sincerity You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Sincerity Now, may I ask the girl's name? Lu Yenyan's face turned pale in an instant, and she didn't know how to face the hand that was reaching out to her. She has seen these things before. She has seen so much from crawling and struggling among the dead to now, but she never imagined that one day someone would be able to take this out of their pocket, chatting and laughing like they were snacking. As a descendant who has mastered almost all the techniques of the Lu family, she naturally can tell the quality of her eyeballs at a glance. He is right, it was indeed fresh from last night, and she is not an ordinary person. At least this kind of luster is the result of a lot of training. LV Liang was very satisfied with her expression, and his attitude towards this guy was the same as that of the Lu family, which proves that he was not timid. He couldn't help but timely add, he killed twelve people last night. Just now I hit a bus on the road, knowing there were people from the company on it. When she heard the combination of the words, last night, and twelve, Lu Yenyan's hand, which was about to reach out, trembled again and finally drooped. But Su Ming, who saw this scene, furrowed his brow lightly and said, isn't that enough? Then he took out three or five more with his backhand and used his breath to support them as they twirled in his palm. There's no other point, I just want to make friends with Miss Lu and talk about business, he said this time, Lu Yenyan no longer had any doubts in her heart. This guy is not as simple as he appears on the surface. Perhaps all the deeds that LV Liang just said are true. And those eyeballs are also so delicious. For the Lu family in Xiangxi, anything from a dead person is useless, and as the only master in the country who plays with dead people, she has never seen such high dot quality things. It's not just a heart attack, it's simply a crazy heart attack. But for that business, Lu Yen Yen. He ultimately didn't choose to agree directly, pushing Su Ming's arm back. But I dare not make decisions about the business you're talking about. I'm running away from home now, and the Lu family's affairs have nothing to do with me. During the conversation, a few people could vaguely see the abandoned factory not far ahead, which was the previously prepared joint site. But Su Ming stopped and said, LV Liang, go ahead and let me talk to Miss Lu about cooperation. Lu Yen Yen was originally just a tool person, and at this point she had lost her value. Of course, LV Liang would not have any objections and walked directly to the factory without saying a word. 
And Lu Yen Yen herself is also a person who likes to join in the fun, running away from home is for freedom, and the fluctuation of qi on Su Ming's body makes it difficult for her to be wary, so she stopped walking along. So I found a stone and sat down, but in the moment I sat down, a dozen or so zombies surrounded me almost at the same time, with the possibility of taking action at any time. Let's talk about it then. Su Ming didn't care and smiled casually. The Lu family in Xiangxi is the most miserable among almost all millennial families. The development of society is becoming more and more civilized, making it increasingly difficult to continue its inheritance. However, in the past, no sect dared to ignore this sect, and no one even dared to step into the territory of Xiangxi. The various eerie methods make it difficult for people to figure out how they died. There is an endless army of zombies on the front, and there is even a legend in history that the imperial court sought help from Xiangxi without soldiers. In times of war and famine, they were their home ground, but as the times gradually developed, they no longer had the same charm as before. In the early years, even the cemetery could serve as their home ground, but now there are no more cemeteries, almost everyone is cremated, and it is even harder to find a corpse. Their decline is not a matter of aptitude, on the contrary, many of the younger generation are highly qualified, and the family's inheritance has never ceased. However, the lack of inexhaustible materials from the past has become a scarce commodity. Now that all the materials have been piled up, only one Lu Yen Yen can be produced, which is almost the only way for them to preserve their inheritance. So, he brought conditions that the Lu family could hardly refuse. I won't keep it a secret anymore. I want the secret technique of your Lu family's soul summoning banner. Is that all? Lu Yen Yen looked indifferent, and then the nearest zombie took out a banner. Just this flag the flagpole made of white bones is tied with colorful ribbons, adorned with various makeup bottles and jars. If it's understandable to make the most of everything, then the Hanmian has completely lost its image and has been made into a colorful windmill. After taking it out, Lu Yen Yen even blew a sigh of disgust, which looked quite fun for a while. If it weren't for Su Ming knowing in advance that it was made of human skin. Are you sure this is a soul-summoning banner? Su Ming couldn't even find any sinister aura on it. Sure enough, you never know what's inside a woman's bag. Lu Yen Yen glanced at him and said, yes. Then, with a gentle wave of the wheat-colored delicate hands, the windmill rustled and a slight change finally appeared on the windmill. A soul the size of a fist struggled to emerge from inside. Surprisingly, two hamster-like furry ears were coiled out of the soul's head, and the already illusory soul body seemed to have turned into a colorful one against the backdrop of the windmill. Ah, this howl made Su Ming completely unable to hold his breath. Who could have imagined that this was truly a prestigious soul summoning banner? He even thinks that the legend in the martial arts world that the hundred soul banner changes color by shaking the sky and earth is false propaganda. You should know that both the hundred soul banner and the ten thousand soul banner have evolved little by little from this windmill. And Lu Yen Yen seemed to have thought of something, pouting, this thing is time.consuming and labor.intensive to make, and it's useless to make it. I really don't know why my grandfather insisted that I know how to make it. If you want to learn this, I can teach you, but you can find the materials yourself. It took our family a few years to come up with such a thing. Su Ming felt unreal, is it that simple? There's no family ban or anything like that. But Lu Yen Yen smiled and waved her hand, they're all old antiques, why bother with them? I gently blew on the windmill in my hand again, and my thoughts seemed to drift away. I have been studying for almost twenty years, but in the end, I have to go to college like an ordinary person. What's the point of me crawling through the dead for decades? When others are playing, I can only talk to zombies covered in the stench of corpses. Some people have friends that I don't have, while others have childhood that I don't have. At this point, she gently lowered her head and rested it on her knee, and the windmill in her hand also hung down. I want freedom and to share with friends what I have learned in the past twenty years. Is my demand too much? Without even thinking, 
Su Ming spoke up locally and said, it's not excessive. It's everyone's right to want freedom. The inheritance of the Lu family is all on you. Your family hopes that your daughter will become a phoenix, but they ignore the fact that you are just a child, which puts too much pressure on you. Come on, give me this pressure, I'll help you bear it. Su Ming's words had a half-joking element, but they were indeed what he wanted to say. For him now, this pressure is something he can hope for but cannot seek. But as a joke, he can't just leave the main business behind. The following is what he craves. And there's also your family's corpse control method. When he said this, he was still a bit nervous, after all, refining and controlling corpses are the unique skills of the Lu family, based on this unique Xiangxi corpse driving school. Sure enough, as soon as he said it, he was blocked by Lu Yenyan's white eyes and said, you can stop at the right time. It's better to just say that you want my grandfather's life. Su Ming can actually understand, but this corpse refining method can be skipped, and the corpse control method cannot be skipped. Now he has tasted the sweetness of the power of faith, but after all, he is weak and it is difficult to expand his influence in that world. Not to mention anything else, just the group of ghosts outside Xiaojiang village has been enough for him to clean up for a while. Although he killed the black dragon, his two fists were difficult to match four hands, and even if he could kill it, the progress would be too slow. Just the power of faith in a village alone can endow it with such strong abilities. It can be said that although it cultivates evil laws, it restrains all evil laws and does not suffer any backlash. If there are ten villages, Miss Lu, don't be too busy refusing yet. It's not too late to speak up just to see my sincerity. As Su Ming spoke, he clenched his grip on the nearby bushes and quickly opened up in the next second. Then, under the cover of the jungle, he disappeared into Lu Yenyan's view. End of this chapter Chapter 9, Are You Strange? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9, Are You Strange? Su Ming's movements were quick, and he had already returned to Lu Yenyan in just three minutes. However, he held a corpse in both hands and threw it in front of Lu Yenyan with a smile, gesturing for him to inspect it. I won't force the corpse refining method, but the corpse control method, strictly speaking, the corpse refining technique is the true core of the Lu family. At the beginning of their cultivation, they will choose a corpse to bind and start practicing step by step from a mortal corpse with the corpse. In other words, the Lu family's cultivation is actually focused on cultivating corpses, in order to feed them back to their masters. There may be very few corpses available for refining, especially in such a large environment where there is no opportunity for them to choose from. This also led to the fact that although the Lu family in Xiangxi still has strong combat power, there are not many who can cultivate. And what he brought can be said to be a way to bring the Lu family back to life. Su Ming couldn't help but sigh, Tsanglong is really a good businessman. If ordinary people were to see such a scene, they would probably be frightened, but in Lu Yenyan's eyes, they would be straight. She may be mistaken when looking at jewelry, but looking at this thing, where did you get such a good treasure? Her hands kept caressing the ghost corpse, as if she had truly seen a peerless treasure. This body is so good. Not just muscles and bones, almost every organ can be considered perfect. Even skin that is impossible for ordinary people to train has armor-like defense effects. If the person in front of them is not a face, he doubts whether it is of the same race as himself. This kind of corpse completely satisfies all the fantasies of the Lu family. It is more than enough to be used for refining corpses, even better than the one in his hand. That is to say, we can directly create two geniuses for the Lu family, and then the burden of inheritance for the Lu family will truly be lifted. Coming out on your own and indulging in this trip may truly grant you freedom. Ha! Huh. Suddenly, Lu Yenyan's gaze shifted to the only flaw on the body above her head. Why are there two holes here? Su Ming casually patted the ash on the slate, and it was quite amusing to see that Lu Yenyan was so fascinated by these two corpses that she even answered casually. Oh, well, it's just weapon marks when I killed, doesn't it affect my appearance? Of course, 
The hole was left by Su Ming when he took the horn. If he brought the horn with him, it probably wouldn't be the same result. How about it? Is there any discussion? In fact, even if Lu Yen Yen doesn't answer, she already has a result in her heart and will definitely succeed. The difference is only in quantity. It was at this moment that Su Ming realized how big a gap there was between himself and a true genius. Lu Yen Yen was so excited that she took a step forward and hugged him, seemingly ready to take a strong sip. Su Ming had already burst out all the energy, but under Lu Yen Yen's command, it was just a presence that could be easily dispersed. In a moment of urgency, Su Ming could only shout loudly, Do you agree? Only by agreeing can I let you take advantage. If we can successfully obtain the corpse control method, it's not impossible to sacrifice a bit of color Lu Yen Yen did not have the body odor he had imagined, but instead had a faint fragrance. For a girl, these ten years are much more uncomfortable than going to jail, and not going crazy is enough to prove that she is not bad. The soft lips stopped an inch in front of Su Ming's face, and when she realized it, her face instantly turned red and she looked up with a proud snort. Definitely. If my grandfather doesn't agree, I'll kill myself and show him. As he spoke, he stuffed the small windmill into Su Ming's arms and took out his phone to make a phone call. Although Su Ming felt a sense of grievance like a brothel woman, let's just do it once for the sake of strength. The phone was already connected, and the dialect of Xiangxi was a bit difficult for him to understand. He simply didn't listen, as it was someone else's family business and he only needed to know one result. The communication between the two lasted for a long time, with video inspections and crying and hanging. Half an hour later, Su Ming officially met the old man. The old man is not as white-haired as he imagined, but rather a spirited middle-aged man, looking very heroic in his bright red tang suit. He looked at Su Ming and let out a deep sigh. Su Ming knew he was going to start bargaining. The price is not a problem for him as long as it is not too outrageous. I'm afraid that the old mischievous child won't sell. And obviously, Lu Yen Yen had already done the old man's ideological work, and as soon as she spoke, she spoke straightforwardly, I can give you the corpse control method, but two such corpses are too few, I need them. Deal. Su Ming immediately felt relieved when he saw the old man in the video extend his finger and charge. But before he could be happy, a warm feeling had already stopped on his face. The next second, Lu Yen Yen's crisp voice rang in front of her phone. Grandpa, sell the corpse refining technique too, so that the entire Lu family can afford to practice it, otherwise I will marry him. He is a man of all nature, and these corpses were all personally killed by him. I heard that he accidentally angered the company on the way just now, and now it is estimated that the whole country will start issuing wanted notices for him. It is truly unforgivable. If you don't agree to me, I will have children with him now. Su Ming took a step back and couldn't help but exclaim in admiration as he watched the old man in the video, who was so angry that he was about to explode. Good granddaughter. But Chi returned to Chi and also reminded the old man, will there be any trouble after I take this corpse? No, I guarantee that as long as you keep your hands and feet clean, there won't even be any storms in the whole country. Su Ming spoke confidently. Are you joking? This is a corpse from a different world, can the company's people manage it? What can we investigate cases that don't even exist? But this statement had a different meaning in the old man's ear. He has lived for most of his life, and he still has some ability to know people. At least he doesn't look guilty when he speaks. That indirectly proves one point. There's someone behind this kid. And he's the kind of big shot who covers the sky with one hand. It's not easy for a ruthless person to suppress such a big case. Okay. He wasn't a person with any ink stains either, and with a heavy tap on the table, he set the tone for the situation. Pay for the delivery, when will you take it out? When will you take it away? Although he never mentioned the method of refining corpses, Su Ming was already very satisfied. Wait a moment. 
he went straight into the bushes and took out three bodies three minutes later, two of which were almost identical to the previous ones. And the third one, come on, this one is worthy of Miss Lu. I hope Miss Lu can remember our friendship. Su Ming smiled and gave the body to Lu Yen Yen. Of course it's not the one from Black Dragon, it's the one from the little leader. Black Dragon's figure is too tall, and the scales on his body don't seem like humans at all. They are too conspicuous, and unless absolutely necessary, he cannot take them out to cause trouble for himself. Lu Yen Yen ignored the old man's warning in the video and hung up the phone. Her face turned red and she chose to answer, you're such a nice person. Pop pop. Pop. A round of applause caught the attention of both of them. In the direction of the abandoned factory, a tall and thin figure slowly walked over. The reflection of his black framed glasses in the sunlight made his smile look even more ominous. If the big deal is settled, do you think you're interested in a small investment on my end? End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Disaster Roots and Seedling Shinchong. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Disaster Roots and Seedling Shinchong Su Ming's gaze suddenly became stern, as it was aimed at him. It's none other than Shinchong, one of the four mad ones of the whole nature. The ability is to enter into a contract with a person in the form of a high-interest loan. After killing someone, the contractor can obtain the deceased's qi, which will also be proportionally transferred to Shinchong. As the number of kills increases, the proportion of return will also increase. People who borrow from him often start with high returns, but as the amount of qi they obtain decreases, they will also fall into complete madness. Only by killing more can they obtain more qi. Often in the later stages, they are monsters who kill for the sake of killing. So his clients generally don't live long. But now he has found himself. Su Ming's face quickly showed a smile, Brother Chong, have you found the wrong person? I can only kill some ordinary people to make a living, and I can't even return qi to you. How about waiting for me to become stronger and talk to you about this investment when I can kill aliens? Shen Chang's smile was very elegant, but it was enough to make everyone shudder. I came to you for a reason. Everyone knows that you have a low starting point, but I see your unparalleled growth potential. His movements are very graceful, more like a teacher explaining difficult problems to his students than talking. Perhaps you don't know, because I am born to rely on others' energy to live, I am very sensitive to energy. When you joined the whole nature, I could feel that your weak energy at that time could almost be ignored. But it's only been one night now, and your chi has already tripled. Perhaps you don't even know how fast you've grown, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that when you grow up, I won't be able to catch you. He lifted his black framed glasses and chuckled lightly. And your nature is too tempting. Even if a stranger kills one in a day, it can slowly break their spirits. But unlike you, killing so many people can still maintain your current state. I'm so interested. As he spoke, he walked up to Su Ming and rested his hand on his shoulder. Actually, I prefer to approach prey carefully and make students obedient through delicate conversation and patient guidance. But you're too tempting. His smile remained so refined, but Su Ming had no intention of being confused at all. Before he was ready to take action, Lu Yen Yen had already taken a step forward. The zombie he was close to suddenly erupted, leaping up to Shen Chang's head. A sharp blade inside his sleeve also appeared in an instant, piercing straight into Shen Chang's head. Stupid and greasy, get out of here. For college students, such a dilemma is indeed difficult to understand, as being a complete fanatic is not a fuel-efficient light. Shen Chang's arms slowly lifted, as if he was just trying to drive away the boring flies, without any emotion. But it was this careless blow that transformed into a huge palm, grabbing it with one hand. Directly immobilizing the entire body of the zombie in place, without any room for deployment. The sharp blade in hand also abruptly came to an end at a distance of half a meter from Shinchong. This is just the use of basic qi, even Su Ming knows the non-mainstream moves. 
All right, Miss Lu, if it weren't for the fear of your grandfather's revenge, you would have already laid down now. Shen Chang's smile sounded like soothing the student who made a mistake, sounding like a spring breeze. Stop making meaningless struggles, I'm just talking to Su Ming. I'll sign it. As soon as these words came out, Shen Chang's head quickly turned and his gaze towards Su Ming was filled with surprise. Can we consider not having a fight again? Su Ming seemed to have figured it out and smiled freely. Chonga, you know me. I have never considered the outcome of a murder. Otherwise, I wouldn't have angered the company for a quick completion of the five ghosts feeding body method. How could I refuse to do a mutually beneficial act of killing someone and taking two benefits? As he spoke, he reached out his hand to signal his willingness, anyway, as a little shrimp like me, besides accepting it, the only ending is death, right? Although he still smiled on his face, he secretly added a death character to the name Shen Chong in his small notebook in his heart, which was listed alongside Yan Jian Shi. He finally understood that none of these guys from all walks of life could survive the oppression of the company and the righteous, and none of them were fuel-efficient lamps. Basically, the Yin is deeply ingrained in the bones. There is a sight that is about to turn you into a private asset, a smile that is about to kill LV Liang, and now there is another Shen Chong who will maximize your utilization rate. Everyone is living for themselves, and the lives of others are never within their scope of consideration. But what Shen Chong didn't know was that even if he didn't find Su Ming, one day Su Ming would still find him. Being calm and focused is the ability of faith to rank at the forefront, and after killing oneself, there is almost no burden, which is why. He was so greedy for Shen Chang's ability that he was even prepared to kill him and turn it into a permanent skill. If Shen Chong dies and this contract still takes effect, it will be equivalent to doubling the upgrade speed. It feels like it's twice as much after being promoted by evil methods like the five ghosts feeding body method don't be too satisfied. Shen Chong was momentarily stunned, but he didn't think much. After all, the most uncomfortable condition of his contract is that it requires the wholehearted cooperation of the contracting party, and whether it is genuine can be seen later. It's not too late to persuade others with reason. In his thoughts, a black contract had already been condensed with Qi. There was no word on the contract, but all the information inside rushed into his mind in an instant. End of this chapter